Mr Croft, my form tutor at school, actively encouraged me to take engineering as an option and pursue it as a career because those were the options that I was really good at. My dad was my biggest inspiration as an engineer. Um, he used to help me build and fix things and that was really my first step. I basically just really enjoyed sciences and tech at school. So I wanted to do a career that I could bring my learning from school and actually use it in the workplace. I was inspired to be an engineer by my chemistry teacher, Mr Jack Winray. He really was a brilliant chemistry teacher and he often talked about chemical engineering, so I thought of nothing else to go into. I took the apprenticeship route to get into engineering, um, but I'd say that the only obstacle to overcome was the balance in the workload of doing university alongside full-time work. My family has always had a very large engineering background, so it's always been never far away from what I've been involved in in my day-to-day -day life. So I took the higher engineering scheme at JCB. I applied after doing my A-levels instead of applying to university. So on my way to engineering, I took the route of university. So I went to Loughborough University to study materials engineering with a placement year as well. So many obstacles include applications and so on. I studied chemical engineering at Sheffield University and on graduation I was a process engineer for 10 years designing equipment for the chemical and petrochemical industries. I was the first female engineer. Being able to work on the fast track that broke the British record yesterday um, with 103.6 miles an hour. The biggest project that I'm most proud of uh, personally is the um, Power Systems Supply Development project. It's ongoing and it's the most exciting project I've ever been part of. I just really enjoy the atmosphere here. There's a lot of great people around who are really supportive of everything you're doing. So during my time at JCB, I've had many opportunities to develop new products, which is what I've been most excited about and proud of as well. I'm proud of using my engineering background and applying it into the sales and marketing environment to really try to innovate and provide solutions that make our customers' lives better. My ambitions are to carry my knowledge and my experience and motivate the next generation to being an engineer just the same as I am and have the same motivations as I do. I just want to keep developing myself and being the best engineer that I can be. In the next couple of years, being professionally registered will be a big thing for me. So the ambitions for myself and for young women is to find a role you're passionate in and excel at it. I think it's an exciting time for young women. This is a fast-paced industry and they have an amazing opportunity to come and be part of this change and help shape our future. I'd say to just go for it. If you enjoy it and you're good at it, make the most of every opportunity. The biggest piece of advice I could give is never let someone tell you you can't do it. If you truly believe you can do it, then you will. Study hard and any extracurricular activities you can do, any time on tours you can get, go for it and get all the experience you can while you're young. So my best piece of advice for any, any person considering engineering is find what drives you and use it to reach the place you want to reach. My best advice is to be the best. Be the best engineer that you can. Always strive to do more and to look for change and to innovate.